Tonight we're learning new details about one of three shootings last month involving Albuquerque police officers. And in this case, the suspect shot back. Come here. Show me your hands. Show me your hands. Spencer Schott heard from APD Chief Harold Medina today, along with some other uh, police department leadership about this particular shooting. So let's just start with, with the first details about this video you even saw today. Well, Julie, this shooting happened on May 10th, and it was in Southeast Albuquerque near Gibson and San Pedro. Now, police say they were responding to shot spotter notifications. They said they heard 10 shots in just 10 minutes in this neighborhood. But when they wrote, uh, arrived on scene. As you could see in that video we just showed moments ago, officers tried to confront the suspect and they fired first, but as soon as they tried to get close to him, that suspect fired right back. The suspect, Kevin Trujillo, was shot in the shoulder, but when police tried to get closer, Trujillo shot back. Those bullets didn't hit any officers or nearby neighbors, but bullet holes now cover walls and houses in this southeast Albuquerque neighborhood. He's running southbound. Trujillo took off running and tried to take shelter at his mom's house, but APD says she called 911. We do know that he arrived at his mother's residence nearby. She would later tell officers that her son, Kevin Trujillo, had come to her residence with a gunshot wound to his upper chest. She stated she thought he had two guns on him at the time. Kevin asked his mom if he could come inside and she denied him access. Police found Trujillo a few hours later and investigators say he tried to ditch the stolen gun he used to fire at officers before he surrendered. The firearm Kevin had in his possession was found to be stolen the day before during a nearby residential burglary and at the time of this shooting was not connected to any other reported shootings. This was one of three times APD officers fired at suspects last month. APD is still under the Federal Department of Justice's oversight, but Chief Harold Medina says he doesn't see that number as a red flag. People are confused and they think, oh, there's been three shootings, it must be bad for DOJ. Well, there's certain things DOJ looks for. Was the use of force uh, appropriate? Was it authorized? Number two, if it wasn't, did APD catch that? Number three, did they hold the individual accountable? Chief Medina adds before May, the department hadn't had an officer involved shooting for more than four months. There are just peaks and valleys of when we see incidents occur. No, Chief Medina added that we are expecting to see more information about those other two shootings in the coming weeks. So uh, we'll stay tuned for that. Yeah, absolutely. We'll see what those videos reveal yes. when we learn more about them. Spencer, thank you.